a dash attack is an attack performed by pressing the attack button while dashing. Most dash attacks come out quickly and functions as a character's primary burst option in approaching attack, but have noticeable ending lag and contain other properties that make them highly committal, making them very easy for wary opponents to punish. So we're gonna rank all the dash attacks. We will start at the bottom. Really, really laggy slash don't work. I think sort of self-explanatory, and I'll justify them by booting up the game. At the very bottom, we have Luigi. Because Luigi dash attack is So this, this uh, dash attack is ultra negative on hit, and it lasts forever. It's a multi-hit that's really, really negative on hit. So like, Luigi should never be getting away with using this, really. Um, here you see Peach spot dodging, but like, if I change the Peach to, what's it called? Like, down smash? Like, every single time. Wait, <laughs> she got air board, but she could just be holding down. Yeah. This joint is crazy. I mean, sure. <laughs> this joint is a little crazy, but ultimately, it's kind of a bad move. Uh, let's look at the frame data as, as well. Four frame startup, which is actually great, you know, really fast. But then the 63 total frames, that's the, that's the real kicker there, right? That's why this does this. Oh last forever super negative but yeah that's why luigi dash tech is at the bottom of the list i'm putting kirby here as well kirby i mean kirby is let's let's take a look at her dash tech 63 total frames again with a nine frame startup um and it, it, it like it's just a really laggy you can go off the plat, which I think can be cool. Like, it's niche utility, maybe. But, like, overall, like, you hit this, and you don't get anything. It's just, like, a really laggy move that you can hit and not follow up off of, um, if you want. So, a burst option that does nothing for you, besides maybe get them off of you. Yeah. Yeah, the only dash attack that only isn't stopped by the edge, that's pretty cool. Like, if if this dash attack was good, like PM Donkey Kong dash attack, then it wouldn't be, like, that bad that she goes off the ledge like this. Like, can she combo if it's, like, further? The hitbox is really bad, too. Oh, my God. Like, it's only, like, it's only in front of Kirby. Look. What is that? Like, it's all. It seems like it should be all around Kirby, but it's only in front of her. Or them. Really laggy. The hitbox is bad. PM Kirby dash. Very good. PM da Donkey Kong dash deck. Very good. Um, it. Kirby is an eldritch being. Alright, it. So, it's dash tech sucks. <laughs> Can't you hold during A during Kirby dash tech and it grabs? In PM, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next, I think we put, like, Roy. Roy might be in the don't work tier because... Honestly, maybe Roy doesn't deserve to be here. But the wet noodle is is so real fighter collision like oh it just sucks when this happens but if you get the, the good hitbox like it's smart dash tech which isn't bad you know i think it could be a 3d thing but the frame data is not like that bad it's similar to marth it just like the weak hit is the tipper hit just doesn't exist so like marth the tipper pops up like the tipper will do this but it, it seems like Roy's tipper does nothing. The active frames don't line up with the animation. Let's take a look at the active frames. Yeah, it's only active for three frames. 
Yeah, it's only active for three frames. <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15. Which is really bad for a dash attack. No, 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 Stango, you're wrong. We're looking right now. Look, it's it's a 12. It's only active for three frames. 12, 13, 14. And then, like, all of this, which should hit, it just has no hitbox. And it's 57 active frame or 57 total frames. Oh, I guess Isaiah on 40. But that's a bad dash attack. Maybe the best of the bad dash to actually I don't know. B because the first the the first three frames or the three good frames are pretty good. So maybe we put them at the top of the shitty dash attacks. It's better on hit for sure. Like it's the only one that's like kind of useful on hit. I think we got just put like laggy AF. And then we're going to put Pikachu there. Um, Pikachu dash attack, for those of you who are unaware, also has plenty of like 49 total frames, but it's pretty active, but it's just like pretty useless. Like most of the time, this is pretty um, negative on hit. You'll see the Pikachus do this when they mess up their short hop nares. <laughs> um, sometimes it's like a edge guard tool so like kind of niche but a lot of times it's going to be negative on hit um it doesn't do that much damage five damage is not great on a dash attack so it's laggy it doesn't do much damage um it has like kind of small small range it has gr decent frame data it's frame five you know not gonna combo so that's why i put pikachu low pichu similarly has, I think, similar frame data on the dash attack. So I think we're also putting Pichu there. Who else should we put here? Oh yeah, Mewtwo is the laggy AF for sure. Mewtwo, let's let's take a look at Mewtwo frame data. Yeah, 49, but it's really active. I mean, this, this level of active is not bad. Nine frames of end lag. That's actually not that bad. Mewtwo dash attack might be pretty good. <laughs> we're we're going to leave Mewtwo off for now. Let's do like a niche burst. Game & Watch, Donkey Kong, Mario's. Donkey Kong can like tech chase and like set up for platform follow-up sometimes. But like versus floaties, it's useless. Really, really laggy with um, 54 frames. It's not that good. Mario's, on the other hand... 48 with decent active frames. Yeah, I I've seen uh, D DK dash attack break Yoshi armor. And then it also sets up for tech chase versus spaces. But yeah, um, Mario's just have like mostly useless dash attacks until the higher percents. They don't do that much damage. Decent startup though, and they get de like good distance. So like negative on hit at these very early percents. Maybe sets up for a tech chase, but like at best a reset. Yeah, it, it does pop up and it does set up for tech chase. So like, I guess maybe you could get it on like tech roll in. Like it's not, it's not the best for sure. Doc, I think has similar properties. Let me check. Yeah, these dash attacks. Actually, Doc's dash attack is slightly better. Where it, like, pops up almost directly above him. Maybe I, I put this higher. I think Doc's is slightly better. Um, we're gonna put Donkey Kong lower. And Game & Watch. Let's look at Game & Watch real quick. Wait, this move's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's so active. And then it only has 8 frames of end lag. Oh, it's, like, kind of negative on hit. It doesn't pop up. Okay. So the frame data is not bad on this move, but it doesn't lead to anything. It's like kind of can be negative on hit. Game Watch has good frame data, but not a good hitbox. And um, it doesn't lead to anything. So I think we put it in maybe the niche tier. Oh, you could do like weird spikes with it. Like spike them on the ledge. So I think we, pu we still put it in the niche tier. I think we can rank some of the better dash tags. Nest dash tag. This is a really good dash tag. I think just pops up and has giant range, but I think you can CC it. Nash dash tag S tier. Um, it has like very good frame data. I think I, I maybe put this a little higher. 
It's got crazy disjoint. Maybe we put it with the other disjointed dash attacks. All right, we're gonna rank this a little later. We're gonna rank this a little later. 10 frames. Yoshi's is good. I guess this hitbox, well, his head is invincible. Strong burst options. And we'll put stuff that lead to knockdown. We're gonna put Yoshi there. We might put Jigglypuff there as well. Jigglypuff dash attack. Super, super good. Actually, Jigglypuff dash attack is four frame startup. This this move's insane. This was way better than Yoshi. Um, so this is strong burst options that lead to knockdown. I think Samus dash attack potentially goes here. Seven frame startup. Does a lot of damage. Puff, not talked about, but Puff low-key needs dash attack. Yeah, Puff gets, like, a lot of options because she could overshoot him with dash attack. Samus dash attack is a kill move on Puff. Yeah. Um, Ganon might also go here. I don't think it's as good as Puff's or Samus's, though. So. Ganon dash attack. Huge. And seven frame startup. I've done combos with Ganon dash attack on Spacey's. Yeah, there's something. Yeah, and dash attack makes him go faster than run speed. That's hilarious. And you can do shit like this, which is awesome. Sometimes you just get out of the corner with it. There's double dash attack. I almost got triple. You can tech chase with it sometimes. It's definitely not as good as like the, the dash attacks that pop straight up, which are amazing. But yeah, not as laggy. This game watch dash attack. And then you can do full tech chases with it. So Ganon, I think, goes to the strong burst um, movement tier. All right, we're just gonna do S tier. <laughs> it's Peach, it's Sheik, it's Zelda. Um, this is the Femme tier. <laughs> because all of these dash attacks send like straight up and come out frame six. Um, they're, they're all like amazing moves. Like Zelda's is probably <laughs> the worst of these three because she has six through 13. Yeah. She is uh, six through 12, 37, like 37 active frames. Actually Zelda's is might be better than Sheik's, but she goes a little less far, which I think might hurt her a bit. Sheik's, yeah, Sheik's speed is insane. Um, and then Peach, of course. This is the most active dash tech in the game. Like, or one of the most. It's 6 through 20. 14 active frames. What is this? And all of this just, like, knocks down. <laughs> they, like, pop up really early, and it knocks down. Um, although Sheik's dash attack is very solid. There's an argument for Sheik to be above Peach because it's, it's more movement, but Peach is more active. So, which is more important? Because I was a Sheik player. I'm going to say Peach is better. <laughs> Sheik also, you get boost grab because of Sheik. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Hmm. Let, let's put, okay. So I, I think we gotta put Spacey's. Gotta do Spacey's tier for sure. Because Spacey's, um, Spacey's dash attack, frame four, pop, straight pop up. Falco's is a lot worse than Fox's. Is Falco's missing a hitbox? Oh wow, yeah. Super good active frames. It just doesn't have the foot, the edge of the foot. Huh. Or you know. So I don't even know if Falco would be better than some of these. Yeah. Negative disjoint. Mm, powerful disjoint. We could put Marth here. Marth dash tag is amazing. Pop up, knock down, first approach. Um, probably put Ices here as well. Yo, I, I forgot about Young Link. Young Link dash tag is actually really good, and it's kind of a kill move. So maybe I put it in the strong burst options. Art dash tech and Icy's dash tech. Yeah, I think they're both up there for sure. Link, Link might be up there. It might be the worst. 
because Link does send like straight up. Actually, Link is frame six. I, I'm pretty sure Link has a fast. The main problem with Link dash tech, I think, is is how laggy it is. So it's harder to get follow-ups. Isaiah frame on 40. Yeah, 40 Isaiah. Zelda. Uh -oh, Zelda might be a little overrated here, low key. <laughs> but I kind of like the theming. I kind of like the theming of the Febs being on top. Uh, this is active frames. Mm, maybe we put this. What? When does Yoshi dash tech knock down? We'll put we'll put Nana in the Feb tier. <laughs> oh. I think we had to put Bowser in here. Yeah, Bowser's is bad. Um, so I think we're gonna put Bowser in the laggy AF tier. But maybe at the top, because Bowser dash tag actually pops up. Yoshi, I'm having trouble ranking Yoshi right now. 10 frame startup, but his head's invincible for on frame five. Oh my God, look at the hitbox on that. That's pretty good. But it, it just like doesn't lead to anything. I think it's like niche edge guard maybe. I mean, it's, it's like, can lead to tech chase and like maybe catch uh, Spacey recovering. And it's because the hitbox is so big, you can get away with just like covering ledge. Like with, I think I've seen Amsa do this dash tech to like cover Spacey's at ledge. It's really quick. And then his head is invincible. I guess, I guess it's like frame 10. So it's not that quick. <laughs> but do you know what's also better? I feel like it's pretty niche. Why not use the best down tilt in the game <laughs> instead? So I think we put Yoshi down tilt higher than some of the useless ones, but still not that good. Maybe in the niche burst tier, I'll put it at the top. I don't know where to rank Mewtwo. It's decent, right? It's it's not as good as like any of the good down, um, dash attacks, I think. Mewtwo's is super slow. So it's quite easy to whiff punish, and the hitbox isn't great. I don't really know how to classify Mewtwo. We're just gonna say question mark. I'm gonna put Falcon in the niche burst as well. Definitely better than Donkey Kong's. I think better than the Mario's too. I think maybe on par with Yoshi. It slows him down, but it's still Falcon dash tech. It's still fast, because it's Falcon. I might put the spaces below the powerful disjoint tier. I think there's some ordering that we could do. But justification, of course, them tier. Uh, frame six dash techs that pop up for full combo. You two, yeah. Let's put let's put you two maybe in the laggy AF tier. It could be niche burst. It's pretty active, and I feel like it might be comparable to D um, DKs. Yeah, I like dash attack with me too, because of the active frames. Um, dash attack maybe b above DK. I feel like you rarely use DK dash attack. I think Sheik might be higher than Peach. I didn't think about how, how much utility Sheik dash attack has for boost boost grab. I think Sheik could be one just because of boost grab. Peach is more active. It has 14 active frames. I think Sheik has half that. But Sheik's has sent so far. They're both frame six and they both lead to full combo. All three of those tier, the dash tags, like all three of the fem dash tags, they have pretty much the exact same frame data, which is insane. But I feel like Sheik's goes the farthest. And Peaches are the most active. Till next time, everyone.